Hello there, it is Sandra with Brew City Thrift. Today I am in Brookfield at the Brookfield Goodwill. I am going to hop in. This was kind of a spontaneous stop. So I'm gonna hop in, take a quick look. I'm probably gonna be pretty choosy. And to be honest, this is not a store I come to very much. So I don't really know if this, uh, if this is a day when things will be all picked over or if there might be some real bargains on the shelves. This is a Thursday afternoon uh, after work. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna find, but you are welcome to come along with me. So let's hit it. So I start off in the tchotchke aisle and these resin fish catch my eye just because they're nicely made with really nice detail and pretty colors. I noticed this marble egg and while these are not very valuable, I like to pick them up for myself. I just love things made out of stone and natural uh, materials, so I'm attracted to them. Uh, this ceramic egg is um, pretty, um, but it is something I don't end up taking. This is an interesting piece of Judaica. It is a menorah made out of brass with the Star of David and two lions flanking it. I take a look at it because it looks like it has some age, but I do, <clears throat> excuse me, leave it behind. I noticed this Talavera picture frame with the hand painting from Mexico, and these sell fairly well for me, so I did put that in my cart. I pick up this die cast metal pencil sharpener. It looks to be vintage. It's for the zodiac sign Virgo. It's got a virgin on the top. And um, I think these little die cast pencil sharpeners are pretty cute. I sell them when I get them. They're not big money makers, but I kind of love the idea of them as starter collector items that can be very, very interesting. So I picked that up. And this is a piece of row pottery. Row pottery is made here in Wisconsin, in Cambridge, and I have a friend who collects it. And my eye is caught by this unusual item that is another piece of Judaica. I noticed the Hebrew lettering on it. Um, I'm, my eye was caught by the art glass, which I think is really beautiful. Um, the mixed metal, and of course, it's some sort of glass, possibly a wedding glass. And um, I think it's so interesting. It's rather lightweight, but beautifully made. So I put that in my cart. It turns out to be um, a piece that's possibly made by the artist Gary Rosenthal. And this is an obviously very old iron. It's called a Mrs. Potts Sad Iron with a wooden handle. It's very common, but it's so old and interesting. I, I really want to uh, pick it up and take it with me, even though I'm paying up at $12.99 for it. I just love how old and interesting it is, and I take it with me. Here I am in the wood aisle, and this is a lovely breadboard. I don't think it's very, I think it's rather common, so I put it back, but I start um, pulling out some rather unusual items. This is a wooden sword, but it's a tourist piece from St. Martin. Um, underneath it is what appears to be a piece of tribal art, once I can get it free from the stack and I do like the design very much. I like the carving. Um, my other pieces of tribal art haven't moved so fast so since I have some other items I decide to leave that there. 
And then I noticed this, which is a carved puzzle box. This one appears to be made in India with an Indian elephant on it. And again, these are not huge sellers. These are just items I just really love. I love the wooden carving. I love that it's a puzzle box. And so I put it in my cart. I notice what appears to be a wooden duck, but when I pick it up, I realize it's it's resin. I do like it. It's he's cute, but um, if he were wooden, I'd be more interested. So I move on. And this crybaby Zinfandel wooden box catches my eye. I think these are often great elements uh, in all kinds of decor. And um, so at first I'm like, oh, maybe it's too heavy. I'm not gonna mess with it. But then I'm like, nah, I'm taking that with me. I like it. Only $3.99, I can't go wrong. Also, I've forgotten to show you when I picked up a um, metal toolbox, GQ Electric Company in Appleton, Wisconsin, and it's pretty beat up, but it's another one of those pieces that can look really good in a man cave. And here I notice another interesting um, piece of tribal art. It looks to be a mask, possibly an African mask. When I look at, I like the design, but oh, wait a minute, TJ Maxx, $12.99. Um, not quite what I was thinking it was going to be. Um, I like this wooden plaque with the, it looks to be vintage with the wooden design and this little ornament. And then I see this, what looks to be vintage wooden and shopware sign. It says, Royal Tavern beer, five cents, and I think it's charming and very 1970s, but it's pretty heavy, so I pass it by. Turns out it wasn't worth too much. And here, another one of my weaknesses. This is truly, a, this is truly a bit of an obsession. A wooden handmade wooden toys, wooden trucks, cars. I can, I can never pass them by. This one is really a cute tractor. Um, and uh, I just love it. So that goes in my cart. So this Hogwarts sign catches my eye and I didn't take it with me, but now I regret it because I have a coworker who's a big Harry Potter fan and probably would have loved that piece. My eye is caught by this piece of glass in the wood aisle. It's so brightly colored. It looks definitely contemporary, and it seems to have a religious theme. Thank you for your sacrifice of, sacrifice of praise, but the, the art glass is so beautiful, I decide I'm going to give that a try. And here is an entire shelf of Franciscan Desert Rose earthenware. I have some of the larger serving pieces that are still in my inventory, so I'm going to leave these here. I don't usually do a lot with uh, dinnerware sets. I'm continuing to look at the pottery and the mugs. I'm getting close to the mug aisle here, I think. This looks like possibly a bit of pottery, but it was, I think, not handmade. This is um, some kind of vegetable terrine. Probably Noritake was my guess. Um, actually not. It's something else, but I can't make it out right now. It 
looks to be a vintage mug for $1.99. And this cup catches my eye because of the pattern on it. I really love the artwork, the, the depiction of a flower, and it turns out to be a piece of Grace's teaware. Um, Grace's teaware is pretty contemporary. Uh, I do think that they have a lot of really great graphics on their items. And I have sold Grace's teaware in the past. So I put this teacup and saucer, I balance it barely. I put it precariously in my cart. But um, I, I think I end up putting it back on the shelf before I leave just because I have so many vintage and antique teacups and saucers to sell. It doesn't make sense to pick up this piece at this time. Got a Courier and Ives plate here and below it another vintage plate that is um, a, something that commemorates a local church. So yes, I have to look those mugs over even though I have far too many. They're just fun, and um, I'm just looking for something extraordinary or something that I might want to keep myself. And I'm scanning the shelves, and I see this mug. This is Anthropology, and it's one of the monogrammed mugs. can't remember the name of that pattern, but I think they still sell pretty well. This one has the letter J on it, and I pop that in my cart. And I noticed these two mugs matching set with, I just love that drip glaze. And I kind of regret not spending a little more time to see who the maker was. So I'm in the kitchen glass area and I notice this lovely picture. I pick it up and move on quickly because it's so heavy and I'm thinking I don't think I want to ship that but it was really a pretty picture and I kind of wish I'd looked at it a little more closely. My eyes caught here by um, this what appears to be Mexican um, style um, platter but it's got chips on it so I move on. And behind these pretty glass deviled egg plates, I noticed this footed bowl, which is hand painted and hand carved by Kathy in 2003. And it's kind of a sweet piece, but I decided to leave it behind. And then this lovely hand-blown glass pitcher with the applied can handle catches my eye. It's got a lovely spiral design. It's got some bubbles in it, which makes me think it must be Mexican. And uh, it's, for, it's priced at $9.99. Um, and it's just really, really pretty. The color is really stunning. I am thinking about it. I put it back on the shelf and check out a few other items, including this ceramic duck that looks to have a little bit of age, probably vintage, I'm guessing. 
but uh, kind of remind me of M.A. Hadley's work, but I don't think it was M.A. Hadley. And um, looked um, at a, a couple other pieces of pottery, including this monster on the bottom shelf that uh, turned about out to be pretty contemporary, so um, I didn't spend too much time with that. Still kind of looking around at the different pieces. Uh, I noticed this bowl, and it looks to be, I thought perhaps it was Polish pottery at first, but when I pulled it out, I checked the back, and that's World Marketplace, and um, I like the design, but that's a pretty contemporary piece, so I put that back as well. And um, looked at this measure glass measuring cup, some vintage glass measuring cups can do well. This one, uh, I was just looking for some sort of mark or, or some sort of branding on it to help me decide whether or not it might be worth my time, but I wasn't able to find anything. I put it back on the shelf and uh, checked out this piece that looks like maybe American Brilliant, that really sharp glass um, with the very sharp edges. And then again, drawn back to this beautiful blue pitcher. And um, I'm really debating it. I'm very much on the fence. Um, it's kind of heavy, it would probably be a lot to ship, but it's such a gorgeous color. So I'm not sure, but I do end up leaving it behind and uh, was that a mistake you let me know so that turned out to be a pretty good trip I think I surprisingly got more items than I thought I would get seems like I was shopping for a man cave today I was especially excited about that GQ toolbox and the crybaby crate the graphics on both of those were awesome and I do think that those are really good vintage items. I'm excited to see what I can do with them on eBay. I also liked the um, antique iron that I picked up. I have to look it up. I would love to do some more research. Um, I'm hoping it's an antique. It might just be vintage, um, but um, I really did think it was a nice piece. The other things I was excited about were the kind of the religious items I picked up. Um, that Jewish uh, glass cup. It was mostly because of the um, glass, the art glass on that piece that I thought that was really, really beautiful and um, just interested to see what that's about, see if I can find an artist's name or some more information on that. And then that, um, that one piece, that um, art glass trivet, or I guess it could be uh, some, a wall hanging, Again, it was the art glass that drew me to it. I just thought it was lovely. And uh, so that was a nice find too. So thanks for shopping with me this time and hope you come back. Please like my channel, um, comment. Uh, love to meet more people in the area who do this kind of thing and, and um, find out a little bit about what you're finding out there and come back again and shop with me next time. So, um, Thrift on brothers and sisters, I'll see you soon.